Hello there, Capricorn. It looks like you're getting more focused on who you should allow in your space, in your energy, in your home. And with that comes a slew of changes that leads you straight down the path to love. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Capricorn Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended, there is a link to it in the description box below. In the castle of dreams, number 42 reduced to a six, become altered by the color of your dreams. Never a crowd on the leading edge. Number 29 reduced to an 11, number of mastery. Very nice. Honor those who honor you. I feel like you're cultivating your personal space in such a specific way where you're becoming more um, strict on who you allow who and what you allow around you. Because I, I, do, I do see for someone cultivating their actual home, making adjustments to their actual home, someone even buying a home, um, making kind of an what you feel to be an oasis sort of setting, and there's only certain people allowed through the door. That could be a bigger concept, those that are allowed in your energy at all, sure. Um, but I am seeing home space for somebody honoring those who honor you you're getting very specific on who and what to focus on in your life very little distraction not not allowing that to take dramatic focus anymore okay that means you're going to be happier sooner <laughs> just tell me what's going on with Capricorn, please. Show me what's going on with Capricorn. Show me what's going on with Capricorn, please. Six of Swords there underneath. We're moving forward. We're we're moving on into calmer waters. No matter what it is you came from before. Okay. Very clear space. Judgment. Yeah, that could do it. Sun, Leo energy, six of cups, nine of cups, emperor, card of Aries, three of pentacles, seven of wands. This is very interesting. I'm reading this side as you, this is them, this is the situation. Judgment call on a soul bond. You would be more than happy starting over elsewhere away from this. So this is what you are clearing out and not focusing on anymore for someone this emperor is dad i'm getting a strong vibe on that one mm -hmm. there's almost like two layers here it's like you're it's it, there's kind of an out with the old in with the new kind of vibe and i i don't mean to call dad old um for those who this is a father figure, but it's almost like um, it's out with the old way of being like there was something that was not functional about this particular dynamic. And instead, like if you ran into, say, a divine, an actual divine masculine instead, the dynamic between the two of you would be very different than this. Because this seven of wands is giving unaccountability, un unaccountability vibes. To where you are totally fine. It's actually the wish come true. You are totally fine to start over somewhere new. That's how okay you are with pushing this aside or leaving it behind. I'm hearing you've had it. You've had it. Got it. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Show me what happened with judgment. It's 
Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. You're working on the path and the plan. And you're being patient and sticking to your guns on the kind of, like, almost like, say if you're job searching, that'll take you out of the area. You don't just take any job. You get really specific on what it is you want, how much you want to get paid, benefits, the whole. And, you, and then you just look for that. So whatever that agenda trigger is for you, for someone it could be work. That's the most cut and dry thing it is for all of us, right? And you slow and steady win this rate, but you do win. You go from you go from not moving to moving. This is ex this is way more excitement. Knight of Wands is way more enthusiastic and excited than the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles slow and steady wins the race if he's moving at all. But you know you have to wait. You have to sit there in the stillness until you, the green light happens. And it does. That's the judgment moment. Then you could go. Oh, flip the whole deck over. Okay. Show me the sun for Capricorn, please. Show me the sun for Capricorn. There's that six of swords. That really wanted to come out there. Ace of swords. You know everything's going to change. Good. Stay optimistic. Just stay in that positivity. Okay. There's a little bit of a thought here of they'll be fine without me. So I guess, I guess that's good. I guess that's good because then you get to fulfill your own personal wish here. <coughs> Excuse me. Show me the nine of cups, please. Queen of cups. Yep. Justice card of Libra, four of wands. Someone does want a house. Um. Got it. This must have felt unstable for a while then. Um, the, the heart's wish is is to be in a situation that's actually balanced and fair, where the foundation is solid. And I'm hearing where the foundation is self-created. So if you were working for dad at dad's company kind of thing, it's still his foundation. Okay. This is the des this is the desire, the heart's desire here to develop one's own foundation. So no matter what happens with job, life, love, you still have the foundation you built for yourself. Show me the three of pentacles, please. Four of swords, two of wands, nine of swords. Yeah, this time away is going to help heal a lot. You're going to get an apology later. You're, you're going to get an apology later. Possibly from mom. <laughs> it, it could be from this emperor, depending on who they are. Um... They're going to see that from afar that you're doing so incredibly happy and even falling in love and they don't get to be there for it. Like they perhaps would have before things went south. Okay. Okay. There's my tea. Hmm. Okay. Get into them. Let's start with a six of cups. Four of wands. Two of cups. Three of cups, seven of swords. There's an... Got it. There's someone else who has influenced this person that has made things turn for the worse when they were happy before. Which means this emperor allowed themselves to be influenced. Show me the emperor, please. Mm. 
And they won't do anything to like speak to you to make this right. A lot of conflicting energy. A lot of conflicting energy. Yeah, they don't they don't know what to do or say. This it very much gives off that older male generation energy of I work until my body gives out and I never talk about my feelings. It, it it feels like that stereotype. Can you show me about this three of... Uh, actually, let's go into the seven of wands first. Because it's like they think about doing something, then they do nothing. Then they claim confusion. Then they want to move. Then, then they're not going to. And yeah. They're going to be shocked when you go. They're going to watch you go and do nothing about it. And they're just going to sit there and feel sad. Scorpio energy there with the tower. So it's like it's someone that looks like an emperor but actually isn't in energy. They might be in like personal look, in aesthetics, but actual energy, they are not. Show me who this Three of Cups, Seven of Swords person is. Someone who is imbalanced, legit imbalanced. They do work hard. Could have a job outside. Excuse me. <clears throat> Could have like manual labor job outside. I have Leo, Scorpio, Libra energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius with the world. Is this person going to have any karmic blowback for their influence? Pisces energy. They know there's something in store if they keep kissing ass with this emperor so if if this was like a family thing and there's inheritance involved they're trying to hedge their bets and kiss ass to this emperor so they get written into things and maybe you get written out of things what's actually going to happen here Might get lawyers involved. Shit. Okay. Okay. Show me more about the Six of Cups. I think whoever the Empress is in this situation is going to kind of flip the script on things. I think things are going to come to a head between whoever this three of cups, seven of swords person is and between them and this emperor. Cause if this is say another family member that isn't one of their kids, like you are, for example, she's going to get to a point of frustration with what's happening here that she reengages with you in some kind of way. I hope this makes sense. Because this person keeps quiet about what's going on with this Three of Cups, Seven of Swords person. and But this Empress is a little bit more intuitive, perceptive. Okay? Um, and it's almost kind of like I'm done being quiet with Capricorn. I'm getting in the car. Even if they try to push me away, I have the truth to tell them kind of thing. Sure, the two of you could have a fight about it. Fine. But what's born between you is an idea that's some sort of remedy for the situation. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So what's Cappy going off to after they leave this behind? Because it looks like this Empress gets to see you fall in love from afar. And yes, they are sad about it. Pisces energy. You're really keeping it to yourself. You're really keeping it to yourself. You oh, you're gonna see you're gonna see him first. You're gonna see this King of Cups first. Ace of Cups lovers, wow. 
Ace of Cups lovers, okay. Yeah, you've already been you've already been strong enough, babe. <laughs> I think we both know at this point, right? You you've been strong enough. Because once you leave, you're going to build that foundation, that Ten of Pentacles. And it's like, okay, it's almost like once you build the foundation for yourself, you're going, it's almost like you're going to tell yourself, okay, now it's time for love. And you'll just open up to that and then poof. Because it looks like you're going to ask them out. The feminine is going to ask the masculine out. Okay. Flip that how it applies, but that's how it's coming across. Okay. Now that we have, um, is there any additional karma that's going to happen to this Three of Cups, Seven of Swords person? Ah, they will be defeated by love and very disappointed. Judgment. And now they don't know what's going to happen. They're going to have to do, they're, have to, they're going to have to fight for themselves and start over in some kind of way. Justice. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of whether it's legal or social or karmic justice. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. I'm a Libra moon. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this king of cups who does not see you coming. I'm going to see what's going on with them in their current energy near future and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I will see you guys over there. Bye.